Shane, congratulations, you live to fight another another two days at least. Yeah, it's been a mental season, you know, and I was saying to the lads if I had the opportunity in the middle of June to get into the playoffs where we were, you know. I didn't see it coming, but to the lads, this team never give up and we work extremely hard every day in training. The lads got the, the rewards they deserve, but um, we still have a lot to work through. There's nothing got yet. We've two hard games coming up, but um, we'll be ready for them. And uh, it, it, you're going to be coming into it on the back of like the biggest high, because this is the first time you've been off the bottom really all season. Yeah, we had a couple of opportunities recently to come off the bottom and we couldn't take them, you know, and when you look like, when you, the longer it goes on, you're thinking, are we going to get another opportunity? Yeah. Thankfully we did tonight and we saw it out. It's brilliant for us. And fairness, you have to thank Shamrock Rovers as well. They've done you a massive favour tonight. Yeah, I was getting worried there at <laughs> half time when the lads were mentioned they were two one up. I was like, here we go now. Things aren't going to go our way, but they've done us a favour tonight. But we can only look after ourselves and to get the win up here it was brilliant, you know. And finally, how how um, how important is, are these playoffs to this club? Because you've been you've been here now like a, a a few years, like, and you've seen you've seen what the the people of Limerick are like. Like when the market seal opened, it was something else. How important is it that this club stay in the Premier Division? Oh, it's very important, you know, uh, the field for Limerick is a club, it's massive, since we moved back to Mark's field, you see the support we're getting, yeah. getting two and a half thousand in the gates, and um, again tonight it's fantastic the support, yeah. they travelled all the way up and they got behind us the whole way, it's just brilliant. Alright, thank you very much, I'll let you go. Uh well, um, congratulations, or I, I suppose I will congratulate you till next week, but you're, you've somehow managed to at least get the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, to, to, if you look at it, it's only three points realistically, um, but it's the biggest three points I think we're ever going to win. We've given ourselves another week, and kind of like another lifeline. Um, nobody would have put us in this position. I mean, we went 22 games at the beginning of the season without winning a game, and what we've done even to get to this point, even to have a, to take it to the last game of the season was a bit of a miracle, but to make sure that we have another week and get the playoff, it, it's something pretty special, something to be proud of, but we've got to make sure that we're very focused. We, we've worked too hard now, and we've achieved too much to, to throw it away by being complacent next week, so we'll be pumped for next week, and we'll make sure we do we do the business. You more than, the, than a lot of the lads in the dressing room would have known how important Martin Russell can be in that, in galvanising the team and getting them getting them up for games, and it, it, it was so important to, ha to that the board showed faith in him, and that now he's yeah. he's repaid that faith by keeping you in the playoffs. Yeah, absolutely. Um, um, he's, a, he's a man, he has a certain way of playing. I don't think we actually played that way, that, the way that he wants us yeah. to play today, but it wasn't <laughs> one of those days. Uh, conditions and just the way the, the game sure went. He care too much. No, I don't think he's, he's going to bother. To, I don't think he's going to be too bad. It's, it's just kind of a situation where it kind of comes from the top of the hierarchy all the way down and there needs to be faith and loyalty throughout the whole, the whole club. And he's been showing that and he's shown that in us. He's, he's never once you know, turned on us or given, like, you know, had a bad word to say, but he's made sure he's been positive motivating us and it's worked you know but not, I don't think many other managers would have got us out of the situation we were in you know 22 games without a win and still to be able to go into the playoffs it's something special and uh, you know like looking at looking at your fixture list you must have been thinking we need to be in the playoffs I can't believe we have to go to the showgrounds and try to do it like it's such a tough place to come and, and get a result let alone to score three goals yeah that's it I mean we, we, of all places to go I'd say it would probably be the toughest one to finish on yeah. regardless of their season this is still a tough place to come you know? and then um, when they uh, obviously got safe last week I, people were saying that might have been a good thing I didn't really see it that way because the pressure was off them they, they could yeah. free do what they want I think they threw Piersy up even yeah. even at the end so like I mean they had the freedom to do what they wanted they knew they were safe we were the ones that were under pressure and even when they scored the second goal in the last minute nerves were in there and, but we held on and that, that's a huge amount of character shown but let's make sure that we, we do the, the same we have the same amount of character next week and finally Finn Harps it's, uh, it's going to be a very very tough game they've, they've proven themselves they, they were a, a big challenger for Wexford Youth for that title and they've proven themselves by beating one of the like a, a really top quality UCD team one of the best UCD teams we've seen yeah. in a long time to, to get to this uh, this playoff final yeah it's like we're going to take we're not going to be complacent we're going to take them very seriously and they're, they're there for a reason and we're going to be it's going to be a, a seriously tough game especially going like we I mean I know we're first but going up to Valley Buffet we're going to want to make sure that we yeah. are going to perform to home first and get, track for it, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that's that's true, yeah. But hopefully we have a, a good scoreline to bring there. So that's the most important thing we have. We have Marcus Field first. And like if that's anything like it has been the last few months, the place will be rocking. Yeah. And it'll be an amazing atmosphere. So we're going to need to make sure we take advantage of that before we go up to their stadium because that's a tough place to play. All right, thank you. Martin Russell, um, I suppose congratulations are in order to an extent. You're yeah. you're into the playoffs, and yeah. you you never you never really expected that maybe in in August, I suppose. <laughs> no, and uh, then award no because again we had, we had so much ground to make up, and um, we had we knew we had a lot of work ahead of us. But to be honest, yeah, I, I did believe picking the window when we got a few. Uh, a few more players that we were resourced a little bit better. Uh, yes, we needed to go on a run, but um, you know, as that run was happening, we, we, we kept believing. So, 
you know, delighted that we have the opportunity and um, hopefully we can make the best of it now. And uh, a lot of people were asking, like, how do you keep so positive when the the, the no-win streak just kept going on? And I suppose your players have proven in these last few months how you kept so positive. They've just proven the, the quality they have, haven't they? Oh, listen, they, they were magnificent tonight, as they have been, particularly since the win. And even, listen, before the, before the win, when we, when we, we drew six... And, Seven by one goal swings, you know. Um, the young players, players were brilliant. The young players were brilliant, and uh, you know they were just unfortunate not to get all the points then. So, you know, but we still knew that there's not any chance we needed to, to, to bring in a few more senior players. And, and, and when we did that, then you know results even even got better. So, as a group, um, you know we've. we've We've gone through a lot this season, so um, we've still got a little bit more to go through, but I'm hoping that it's worked well. Of all the teams who could have been in that playoff, you, you're, you're going to be the you're going to be the foreign team going into this playoff now. Regardless of how Finn Harps have done, you're definitely the team where everybody is watching at the moment. The move back into the market say, was, a, was, yeah. a, was a big change, and said, bringing in the players at that time as well was going to help things. So uh, we, we managed to find form, but we also know that as much as it's a playoff for Limerick, it's a playoff for Finn Harps. Yeah. And, um, I know all the organised troops will relish the chance of, 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 of having a go with Premier Division team and we have got to play well over the two games to do what um, we want to do which is make sure that, that we have Premier Division football next, next and, season. And on Finn Harps, you know, like you know as well as anybody how, how good UCD teams have been over the years and they, like, they, they, they've beaten possibly one of the best UCD teams we've seen. Yeah. It's, it's strange they're even in the first division at all and, um, and they, like, they're going to be a really, really tough, tough oh, challenge. Listen, yeah, that's what I said, they're, they're there on Mary like we're, we're there on Maryland, we've had to fight ever so hard, they, they fought so hard to get that, that, that playoff spot as well. So there's two big games in Marcusville and Bally Buffet that um, hopefully the crowds will come out and um, we can, we, I say that we can get our, our, our business done and get over the line on this. You mentioned the crowds coming out, those fans who came who travelled here, apparently only 200, it seemed like 2,000 yeah. almost yeah. there, See how serious that was here and they, they, they were up there with the, the Cork and the Dundalk yeah. fans. You know? You're right, I mean again, they, and it's, a, such a long, it's a long way to come as well, yeah. you know, credit for them again, I like the players, they've, uh, you know, they've done the club proud and um, it's been great, it's been great in the markets field as well and we're, we're looking for a big night in the markets field this Monday night. Alright, thank you very much. Williams, um, I'm sure there were points in the season where you thought that it was never possible you were going to be playing in this game, and somehow you're in the playoffs. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, I glad have just been saying here, this is the first time in that 200 odd days where they've got off the bottom of the league, yeah. you know what I mean? So, um, we, we're coming to this game where we had to do a job, and uh, um, Shams do us a favour, which they have, so which, you know what I mean? It's brilliant. Um, and you, you mentioned Shamrock Rovers doing you a favourite. It seemed like it was all coming together for you because you've had a really, you've had a, like even though you've obviously had the amazing comeback, it's been a struggle the last few weeks because you've had two chances to get off the bottom and, and miss out, and, and now you've you've done literally the last possible attempt you've got. Yeah, we, <laughs> like, you say, like you say, we've let ourselves down the last couple of weeks, but we've played two decent sides, you know, in Derry and Shamrock, and uh, before that we went, went on an amazing run and. Um, we were still full of confidence tonight, we know we could, we had to give it us all, you know yeah. what I mean? Just like it was a tough place to come any time. So we had to do his jobs right and they put us under a lot of pressure in that second half. I'm just glad they scored in the last minute to make it 3-2 instead of the last 10 minutes because it could have been a tricky situation. But like I said, the lads were brilliant and um, we're just all chuffed. It probably wouldn't seem it when you've, you've gone and won this such an important game, but it probably wasn't the, the best footballing performance you've had all year, but it was, it was a, really, a really gritty performance and a very, it, was, it was an impressive sort of a, a winning mentality that we probably wouldn't expect from the team at the bottom of the whole season. Ah, oh, the wind. The wind out there played a massive part, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was blowing other people's heads, it would <laughs> keep it kicking, it was coming back to him, you know what I mean? It played a massive part and um, we had to dig in because they've got some big lads and they've got some good players, you know what I mean? And we had to dig in and... Luckily we got the goals and it um, gives a little little platform to build on and we hung on and we hung on and um, it was a tough game but I'm just glad we got over the line, you know. And back to the, the markets field again on Friday night after or sorry, on Monday night, um, and it's it's gonna be I'm sure one of the, the great Limerick FC nights and hopefully you can get one of those great Limerick FC wins. Oh yeah, we've um, just been saying there to the boys, we've got another week, you know what I mean? We've got to refocus, we'll be back in tomorrow, back in Sunday. 
Monday we go again, we've got two tough games against Finnap, so we're going to be out to prove a point, you know what I mean? So we, we'll refocus and we'll get together Sunday and we'll be bang at it again Monday hopefully. Harps, you mentioned there, like they've they've uh, they've gone and they've beaten UCD, who look like one of the one of the better sides in that first division, and they're they're very much on merit. And it's going to be one. Of, it's definitely going to be one of your tougher games of the year. It's going to be up there with, with games against the likes of Dundalk or Cork, you know. Oh yeah, they're going to be underdogs, and they're come to, they're going to come to Marcus Field on Monday night, and they're going to be they're going to be buzzing around. Yeah. So we've just got to look after ourselves. Don't get complacent, hopefully do his jobs, you know what I mean? And hopefully touch wood we'll we'll be alright, you know what I mean? And finally you've been at Limerick for the last couple of years, you've seen how how the, the club is is developed and how, how have you felt with the you have moved you were here when they've moved back to the markets field. How important has that move been to the club and to, to you guys as players and to, to all the fans that you know so well? Oh it's been brilliant because no disrespect to Jackman Park at the beginning of the season. Yeah. It wasn't the greatest uh, platform to play on the pitch wasn't great and um, we won't get many fans, no disrespect, but going into Marcus Field, the tra tradition and everything, it's been, you know, I mean, it's been brilliant. It's been, there's been like 2,000 every week, and it's felt like 10,000. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, so it's right, only 200 there, and it felt like 2,000. You know? Oh, the fans have been great since yeah. we got our first win and got that monkey off his back. And get, funny enough, against Sligo at the Marcus Field, yeah. we were on an amazing run and um, it gave ourselves a chance. And um, now we're just grateful. It's just come good, you know. All right, thank you very. Raf, um, this season is over and there's only two words to describe it, thank God. You know? Thank God, um, obviously last week we, we did the job to, to probably keep us up, obviously, and this tonight was a total disaster. But look, it was a hard season, you know, you're not going to have a great season every, every season, so you know, you just put, put it to bed now and, and look forward into to next season and see what happens. One of the really, really tough games, to, or one of the really tough seasons you've been involved in at Sligo Rovers, it, it, you must be just so relieved that you get a little break now. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, yeah, it is, it is. It's, it's nice to just look, know that we've done the job, we're staying up, and uh, you can relax now and, and, and enjoy your couple of weeks off. So, to, to have the job done, <laughs> as I said, it feels fantastic, but I just hope there's uh, not another season like that for a long time. Um, and, you know, like, even, even when, you know, like, the season, it was always, it, it was just, it was just, Awful to, to be involved in, I suppose. But the the fans still, the, the the core fan base have still stayed behind you. And they've been so so loyal to this team through through all the the really really tough times of the year. Yeah, it's, look, as you see there again tonight, there was a, a massive crowd, and you know throughout the year, obviously when, when times were a bit hard uh, during the season, that alone just says what the club means to the people as well. So I think you know, obviously we get to match that with performances on the pitch, and I think we did that the, the last couple of games, you know, to to get us over the line. I think you know when you look at the when you look at, like the, the team in 2012 and stuff like everybody from Sligo was out. We were talking about it like a couple of weeks ago. Like there were 7,000 people in the showground somehow. It, do you think a season like this really shows how how together the people of Sligo are behind this club? Because it would be very easy for fans to just stop going. Totally. Hail Sleets, no, they'll come out for us. No fair play to them. And for yourself personally, what's your your plans coming into 2016? Uh, 2016, we'll see what happens. Um, obviously, we don't know if the gaffer is going to be here or not so obviously when we know what that sorted I think uh, that'll come down to us then whether who he wants to keep yeah. and who he doesn't <laughs> you know I think that's the way it'll go and, uh, and you actually you mentioned that the gaffer how important has he, he been in, in keeping you you guys up because his experience must have been so vital uh, look since he came in I think day one I think every, all the lads took took to him and uh, Alan they've been phenomenal for us you know I, t to be fair it's, it's, it's a statement I don't think we probably would have stayed up if it wasn't for them you know mm -hmm. I think just Mick, Mickey's experience alone in, in, in you know in football you know he, he hasn't yeah. managed at the top level for no reason so I think his experience coming in has, has you know got us over the line to be fair All right, thank you very